I'm nuts for the baths in Japan. They're great. It's got a special little room and it's got the shower, the bath all together and you can get wet outside the tub and then get in and splash around. You start off with the uh, with, with, with a stool. The stool is what you're going to be sitting on when you take the bath. Before you uh, sit down, you'll have to make sure you've got all your accessories, your soap, shampoo, you know, conditioner, all that good stuff. Make sure you're nice and dirty. Had a nice day's sweat. Yeah, the Japanese bathe in the evening. That's right, before they go to bed. Then they can use this washcloth to scrub themselves clean. They get so clean and they go, be- go to bed and feel great. Sometimes the bath water is purple from the night before. If they use that special color and roll back the lid, pull the plug and start a draining. And when the tub is ready to fill, you can use this toggle to make the water go back and forth between the faucet and the shower. But how do you turn the water on? Of course, in Japan, it's got to be the technology, right? There's a switch somewhere. Where's the switch? Where's the switch? It's not here. You have to run to another part of the house. What's this place? The kitchen. Yes, indeed, it's in the kitchen. In the kitchen, usually on the wall, you will find something that looks like this. This is the bath console where you can control the temperature and turn the water on. Clean, drain the tub, clean the tub, put the plunger back in and push this button right here and you'll hear somebody talking. Now the tub thinger will go ahead and fill the tub up and then beep again when it's all done and then you're ready for your bath. Isn't that great? And when the tub starts filling up, the water goes in, another beep comes, and you're all done, and you hop in and get clean. That's right, the baths in Japan, they're wonderful. See ya!